Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second ever Limbus Rumble. Starting off with our first contestant here today, with Hefe Sinclair, showing us the moves while we sit there and get our introductions in order. Now to summarize today's events, we have 30 contestants to meet you all in the ring today. The order of these contestants will be entirely random. You're going to see some familiar faces, and you're going to see some new faces. So I'm sure you'll all be quite surprised as to what we have in store for you. Back to the uh, subject at hand, we sit there and have Hefe Sinclair as our first contestant. Probably quite happy to know that he'll be able to show us some of his moves. After all, in the first rumble, he got eliminated within, I think, the first five seconds that he showed up. Dante completely plastered him right over the top rope. Now, we all know the rumors, though, that perhaps this idea is not the strongest let's say, for Sinclair, but I'm sure he'll show us what power it can have. After all, in the last Rumble as well, we had Otis as a two-star, completely dumpstering most of the IDs. Now, just in time for our second contestant to come in for today, we'll be able to see who our very poor friend Sinclair... Oh! But he's so small! How is Sinclair going to fight this massive beast? I, I'm not going to lie, I, I think Sinclair might already get eliminated immediately, once again. I, if he can sh sit there and even last five seconds against the whale, I'd be, I'd be genuinely shocked. Truly. Now I want to make this clear, that this is THE whale. I don't care what you've heard, out in the back streets, out on the boats, from U-Corp executives, this is THE Whale. Spent all their money to get into this ring today, as well as to sit there and leave us with a few of his very well thought out words. Truly a Herman Melville in the making. All right, now we're getting right into it. We have immediately a clash. There's just a massive size of it already being picked up, tossed into the ropes. He's survived five seconds. I guess that's that. Oh, and a pretty nasty headbutt right after, too. Now, there isn't that much time at the beginning. We already have our next contestant coming in right away. Probably for the best, given how completely one-sided Sinclair's been experiencing. Oh, it's exactly what Sinclair was looking for. We got Queequeg coming in, immediately ready to hunt some whales. And what I'm sure that everyone knows from their plenty of experiences, both in the story and in the uh, railways, is that Queequeg is quite the tanky little monster. And it is going to be a very long time, I would expect, before Queequeg is eliminated from this rumble. As we get back into it, we immediately see Sinclair once again getting tossed around. It'd be quite expected at this point. Perhaps Queequeg will be able to sit here. Oh, Sinclair countering, getting out of the grip. Queequeg going in, teaming up with Sinclair, possibly. Sinclair trying to get a little bit of hype, but just completely whiffing it. Actually, overall, a lot of people just keep whiffing their hits. Uh, we got Queequeg here. Ooh, giving a right knee immediately to the whale. The next contestant coming in. Sinclair quickly dropping down Queequeg to the ground. Got our next contestant coming in today. We got Rim! Yeah, that person. You, you remember Rim? Yeah, I did. Not enough to make a decent enough model, though. He's, uh... There's not much to say about him. He's, uh... He's a fish bowl head. Butterflies. Uh, once again, very enigmatic, much like all the people, I believe, of that faction in the story. Not sure what they're going to do, but uh, maybe Rim will be the surprising uh, dark horse of today's Rumble. Although I'm not really sure anyone wants to see that. Now, as we get back into it, we have both Queequeg and Sinclair on the ground, just getting completely stomped on by the whale. Rim seems 
uncertain of what to do. Uh, I think just observing as both the whale and Sinclair duke it out. Queequeg trying to get up. Rim now going in for blood. Going in for a right hook onto Queequeg. Well, once again, maybe Sinclair's getting eliminated? No! It's a quick counter. While Queequeg just knocks Rim down to the ground. Got our next contestant coming in. Possibly an elimination from Sinclair right here. Oh, it's Lou Association Rodian with... It. You're not allowed to have that. Hey. Hey. Can you guys let anyone know in the back that they're not allowed to bring in actual fire to the ring and hey, we don't have insurance for this this is a problem actually i know we have a lot of fire ids down the road for today but they, they need to be told this oh, oh, sorry about that now that being said about the burn ids that we have for today man it is really nice to see how fleshed out burn has become i'm sure we'll sit there and we'll see quite a lot of performance from all of these people in the time to come now we have the whale, oh, almost kicking out Sinclair, and what, what is Quick Quick doing? What, what kind of move was that? Entering the swamp lands for poor Rim, I suppose. Now we have immediately Rhodey getting picked up by Quick Quick, breaking out. The whale just picking anybody up. Not really doing much in the way of eliminations, though. Oh, and a rough landing for poor Rim onto his back there. The whale just going to town once again. Our next contestant coming in, it's Boatworks Gregor. Yes. Everyone knows of this ID. He made a lot of controversy back when he first came out. But man, look at him. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hot stuff. Reminds you of a certain very popular editor and screen cap writer and model maker. Yeah. As for his performance, I'm not too sure, but... Once again, we'll see whether or not he can sit there and perhaps help people out against the whale, like Rim is here. Oh! Stretching out the whale! I don't think he's had that in a long time. Gregor now on the ground immediately. Seems to be quite a common theme with all the new contestants in the ring. A good welcome. Gregor now getting Sinclair over into the top ropes, perhaps once again having himself eliminated. Quick, quick, tossing Rhodey into the middle of the ring. Just in time for our next contestant, we have the Spiral of Contempt. The final boss of our Refraction Railway. Sitting there, keeping his hands up high, praying to whatever god that there might be, perhaps himself. Now, I think this, much like the whale, is going to be a contestant that everyone else is going to have to pay very close attention to. Spiral Contempt is not an easy abnormality to go up against. The ring is getting quite busy right away. We have Queequeg getting punched in, Rhodey punching in the whale. The Spiral of Contempt just basically finding anybody to hunt down. Oh, Gregor was trying to do something there, but it seems got reversed. Oh, and a DDT for the Spiral of Contempt for all of his troubles. Now we still have room for one more contestant in the ring. Rim barely holding on there. We got Skin Prophet making now three abnormalities already in the ring this early in the rumble. Now I hope those that are not uh, subjected to these later will perhaps be grateful that all these are coming in early. Because I will tell you now, these abnormalities are not fucking around. They are very, very strong comparative to all the other wrestlers. So hopefully, they don't just destroy every- Oh, and Rim's been eliminated! Rim was eliminated! Oh, he's out of here! The Dark Horse will not happen. <laughs> now, real quick, we have poor Hefe Sinclair getting taunted at by the Skin Prophet. Queequeg showing Sinclair the moves as well. I think we have Rhodey there choking out. Oh no, getting countered. Oh, and Hefe Sinclair's been eliminated by Queequeg. Oh, he tried his hardest there. He At least he stuck around for quite a good amount of time, I'd say. Now, I don't know how everyone else is going to hold up to these three abnormalities in the ring, but, I mean, Queequeg seems to be doing... Oh, never mind. I thought they were going to do something there, but it seems like they're just at the mercy of these poor things. 
Rody trying to get some work in onto the spiral. Queequeg doing so as well. Perhaps if the other two... Oh, actually, Rody going to town on so many abnormalities. All three of them are down at the moment. Gregor trying to be cool, but completely whiffing in the middle of the air there. Trying to get some wild haymakers in, but once again, just whiffing. Rody giving him perhaps an elimination over the top rope. Same with Queequeg. Spiral of Contempt and the Whale just duking it out. Oh, and the Whale quick on his feet. Oh, and Queequeg getting a good old knee to the floor as our next contestant comes on in. That's right. It's Oof. Heathcliff. I think it's Oof. Oofy? Oof? Last I checked, it was what? Swiss German? I think it's Oof. Either way, he's here to fulfill some contracts. Contracts of pain for all of the other wrestlers. I'm sure he'll uh, perform quite well in this ring right now. The Spiral Contempt. Getting into the corner with the whale. Breaking out. Oh, and Gregor almost a limit. Oh, maybe, maybe? Quick DDT from Spiral. Yes! Skin Prophet has eliminated poor Boatworks Gregor. He's out of here. Quick, quick, giving Heathcliff a good punch for his trouble. And what is that? That is a weird DDT. Quick, quick's got some really odd moves. I guess you kind of need that sort of thing when you're out in that kind of ocean for so long. Oh, and slamming down Skin Prophet just in time before our next person coming in. As I'm sure as you briefly saw there, we have Dimension Shredder Yi Song. Uh, does he know where he's going? Can he see us? No, this way, back this way, turn around. Yeah, there you go, this way. I, I don't know, I, I thought his ego was quite cool, but does he just not know where he's going? Okay, well, he performs quite well in the game. We'll see how he performs in uh, this wrestling ring today. Seems a bit lost, but we'll see what he can do. Let's quickly get back into the fighting. We have possibly skin... No, holding off of the edge. Spiral of Contempt, maybe setting up an elimination for Rhodey. Oh, what? No! It was so close, but it got countered and encountered again. It was a good performance from Rhodey, but... I guess he just can't sit there and do much against these abnormalities. They're just so strong. That being said, we have Queequeg trying to eliminate the whale, regardless of what I'm saying. Hopefully they can get one of them out of here, because there's just way too many of them. Yi Sang, quickly and blindly running forward, nailing Heathcliff right into the face. We have the whale holding Queequeg up for a big slam on their leg as our next contestant's ready to come on in. It's Dante! Now he's looking a bit monochromatic now that he's coming from the back streets of T-Corp, uh, much like what happened with the poor memory wipe. It seems that that sort of stuff smears onto him. It doesn't really go away. It's kind of like a bad stain. Now he's got a sign with him. He wants everyone to know that maybe without performance-hancing drugs this time that he still can perform quite well. Now it's a lot easier said than done. There's someone that says that they'll win as opposed to someone that does win. He is quite early on. We've got a, quite a lot of dodges going around. Yisan actually doing... Whoa! Quite amazing work for a guy that can't see. Oh, and Dante just gave him a good old punch to the face. Oh, Queequeg almost eliminated there. Couple tosses. I mean, the whale is looking pretty gnarled at this point. He's been in here for a very long time. Oh, possibly getting eliminated here from Skin Prophet. No! We have Spiral of Contempt saving the whale. Perhaps the abnormalities secretly having in cahoots with each other. Queequeg giving them some trouble. And once again, Skin Prophet now saving Spiral of Contempt. All right, next contestant coming on in. We'll find out who that is very shortly. Just after Dante, we have Virgil making his way in. Now, uh... Not gonna lie, I don't know if he's actually gonna be able to do much. He's, uh... I think it's correct what people say about him. He's, uh... He just doesn't do anything. I mean, he's got his arm up, he thinks he's cool, but... Nah, I don't think we're gonna see a good performance about him today. What happened to the whale? When did the whale get eliminated? I must have missed this! Wait, what was that? It was... It was the spiral? 
But I thought he saved the whale last time. Or was he just looking to get the blood for himself? Ugh. Alas. We have Virgil showing up the works under the skin prophet, trying to show what he's made of. Now, strangling Dante. I'm sure he's thinking Dante has been the source of all the rumors for the past little while. We have, uh... Oh, we have the skin prophet just rolling around. Everybody kind of stuck in locks right now. Dante showing up the moves on Queequeg, actually. He's doing quite well, all things considered. Oh, and a, an outright disgusting kick to Heathcliff's poor face from the Spiral of Contempt. Oh, Dante once again just giving it down to Queequeg. I don't know what the deal is, but Dante really doesn't like that ID. Oh, we have an absolute menagerie of what seems to be tosses going around. The most focusful one there being poor Yi Sam. We've got our next contestant coming in. Just in time, seeing poor Queequeg out on the ropes, we have Ahab here. Now Ahab, truly one of the best captains out there, always looking out for their crewmates. After all, how would they come this early? It was them that hunted the whale too. It wasn't the Spiral of Contempt. They've done everything. Ah, oh, man, they've done such amazing work this whole time. I mean, look at them. That's the kind of look you can only get with confidence behind you. Confidence and experience. Now, I assure you, I do not have anybody from the COD crew currently holding me up to Harpoon Point to say these things. These are all facts. So I would definitely expect Ahab to immediately eliminate everybody the moment they get into the ring. We have poor Heathcliff out on the edge, all possibly getting eliminated by Skin Prophet, and yes, poor Heathcliff has been eliminated, and Dante immediately giving Ahab what for. Perhaps not enjoying all that free praise after all working so hard with the sign and everything. Oh, Ahab doing a reversal of what would have been a toss. Possibly now tossing Dante. Yes, he has. We got Skim Prophet now. Possibly lining up something for... Oh, and Ahab saving Virgil of all people. Skim Prophet now on the ground. Once again, a lot of people in holes. Dante giving Ahab again another what for. Spiral of Contempt just giving constant knees to poor Virgil. And oh, man. I mean, he's not performing like we would expect a color to. That, that much is very certain. I think Dante's doing better than he is. But Yi Sang giving Virgil a DDT. Dante possibly going to eliminate a... Oh... Queequeg now showing Yi Song what it means to taunt. Oh, and that was a really nasty toss. Dante failing to eliminate it in abnormality. Virgil taking a break. Oh, and that was a heavy knee onto poor Yi Song right there. Spell of Contempt possibly trying to eliminate someone here. Getting in the wave with Yi Song. Got our next contestant coming in. Whoa. With all these heavy contenders, we have another one entering the ring today with Bamboo Hatted Kim. Bringing in a kendo stick, although we will have to request that they put that down before they get into the ring. Very quiet type. We don't get to know a lot about poor Bamboo Kim, but what we do know is what he leaves behind, and that is corpses. Lots and lots of corpses. Queequeg once again doing the reverse DDT with their ass. The ring is getting quite busy. We got perhaps... Oh! Queequeg just falling right over the ropes from a simple toss from the spiral. Bamboo Headed Kim getting in on the action, seeing already blood in the water, knowing who to go after, possibly eliminating the spiral while Ahab's going for Yi Song. Both of them actually really on the ropes. Oh! Yi Song saving and... I guess spiral saving for now, there's still a chance they might get eliminated. No, getting pushed back. Got Dante throwing Ahab, Ahab. Oh, Ahab being eliminated. Barely able to see it there in the back, but Dante did get rid of Ahab there. Now possibly going for Yusan too. Going up over the ropes and... Oh, that was a nasty hit. I think Dante just injured himself there. Possibly being a bit too eager after getting the kill. Got Virgil there giving knees to Skin Prophet. Yisan giving the works to the other abnormality too. 
Now the two of them quickly going after each other. Oh, teaming up against Virgil. I really don't think that's needed. He, he seems to be a bit uh, on the weaker side of things. Dante, once again, with another elimination. Seeing blood going in for it. He's doing really, really well today. Truly an actual color. Oh, and here to prove otherwise, we have the janitor. Well, that's not her name. It's Kaiman. She's got clear on her name, isn't that what she does? She's just a janitor. That's all she needs to be, right? No? Oh. Okay, well, Kaiman is here to sit there and prove that they're not just a janitor. Hopefully the after team can prove to us what makes them so special after all. At the very least, we can hope that they don't do it for free. Kaiman actually giving the, uh, whoa, doing some actually really impressive moves. We also got uh, poor Virgil eliminated there. And, oh, a heavy hit. I think the spiral's head was broken from that punch. Wow, actually, Kaiman's just going to town. Got our next contestant here today. And... What? <sighs> yes. Yes, we can see. Yes, Faust. Yes. Good job. I... I guess we already failed it. We can't, we can't cover this one up. Yes. Okay, well, the fire IDs... Any, anyone else with the fire ID, they're getting banned. I don't care. If they bring in fire, they're immediately getting eliminated. This insurance is expensive, you know? Ugh. Alright, well, let's hope the N2 Faust will sit there and do a well-off performance today. It seems like Yisan has been doing quite well. Dante here, immediately giving Faust a knee to the chest. Kaiman reversing Dante. It, it looks like, I think he, Spiral of Contempt was choking at Yisan the whole time there. Got our next contestant coming on in. Well, we got Yisan once again putting the spiral into the corner, possibly opening up an elimination. Poor Faust being tossed around this whole time. Now, speaking of strong ego IDs, we got eyes open, Ryoshu. Sitting here, showing off their stuff, and, and webbing up the camera. Uh, okay. It, can you, yeah, just wipe that off. Thank you, cameraman. Thank you. Okay. Now, open eyes Ryoshu. Or eyes open Ryoshu, that is. Definitely the coolest ego animation, I would say, in the game. It's very hard to contend with Giant Spider Lady. We have Spiral of Contempt giving Yisong some business. Kaiman showing the same business. Actually, showing off the business. Using poor, poor Bamboo Hatted Kim as a rag doll. I guess that's how the after team does their business. We have a massive combo on. Poor Faust here from Yisan. It's just everybody's going to town. Everyone's super busy. We even have another contestant coming in, but it's just been... And another one! Oh! It's Santa! It... santa -ta. Yes. We brought him all the way from the outskirts, way up in the North Pole. He was very eager to crush some Umi heads. Now he's not doing this for any of you guys. He's got his own peeps in. We flew them all in. All the elves, all the gnomes, they're all here. Yes, look at them all. Oh, they're just so happy. Now with another abnormality coming into the ring, we once again have very big contenders to throw their weight around. Hopefully the IDs and egos and poor after teams will be able to make something out of all this. Much going on. We have a lot of people on the ground already writhing from a lot of pain of beatings. Faust possibly going in for something on Kaiman. Did, oh, a massive DDT from the sp for the spiral there. And another one for Santa to, and Faust following up right after. They're actually being quite seamless right now. Uh, what's Ryosha doing? What? What is that? That's a foul move. They just like ate his ear off. Immediately Faust following up right after. Santa trying to get some ground back, countering Faust, bringing them to the ground. 
Santos now just running around, going right for Ryosho. They, he wasn't happy about that. Oh, big hit. Kaiman now also giving a DDT to the poor Spiral. Santos also getting a big DDT. Kaiman is just a monster. Once again, Kaiman possibly setting up a power bomb here on poor Dante. In the background, we have Yisong getting plastered. Oh, and Faust has been eliminated by Santito. He just threw her right over the edge. I guess she's just not cut for it. Kaiman now possibly trying to get rid of the Christmas spirit. There's no room for that when business needs doing. Yisong going for Kaiman. Oh, and a massive double stomp onto poor Ryoshu there. We got Dante now. Just holding, uh... Keeping him right down for his troubles. Keeping everybody down. Everybody's down. Dante's the only one standing currently. Is he gonna do anything about this? No, and Spiral's just gonna kick Ryoshu in the face for her troubles. Now Dante and the Spiral fighting it out. Throwing him into the corner and then going after Kaiman. I think Dante just wants everyone on the ground right now. Bamboo-headed Kim, seeing the issue at hand, strangling Dante out now. Everyone's up now that Dante's been contained. Oh, and a massive twirl. I think Santa is having a really rough time right now. Another DDT going in. No, it's going to be a coffin. Oh, no, it was reversed. And next contestant coming in. Yes, he's here to show, show everyone what the real meaning of violence is. No, my camera! Ugh. You can't win with these people. These people are insane. They just destroy everything. They don't follow the rules. They don't sit there and... Ugh. I'm gonna lose so much money! <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoy this, folks, because uh, we're definitely in the red. But, uh, yeah, if you like it, perhaps uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> But in uh, all seriousness, no, uh, outside of the ideas and all that, I've actually been quite enjoying these, and I do enjoy reading your comments. It's very nice. And you guys are great. So uh, I just thought I'd want to chip that in real quick while we uh, get that repaired. Once again, we have a lot of people on the ground. Dante possibly, ooh, barely, possibly still eliminating Santa. Ryoshu immediately taking down their soul, possibly not wanting him to actually release and unleash his potential. Oh, Yisong giving a massive hit onto poor Bamboo there. Dante, I, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Dante just does not have the strength. Oh! I think Ryoshu just sat there and with spider-like strength threw Yisong up into the air and just let him fall down with full force. And I think Ryoshu just was eliminated. I think Mersal just eliminated Ryoshu. He did. Barely even saw it happen. He just quietly murdered them. A lot of tosses going out now. Mersal fighting the spiral. Just being at... Oh, Dante and the spiral. Chum, I'm not a gnolf. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed. Teaming up against Mersal. Huh? I'm sorry. What? We got hijacked. We we got hijacked as well. By who? We don't know. It's not from the city. What were we even supposed to do then? <laughs> oh, I just had to accept it the way things are. Okay. We have Kaiman sitting there giving Dante triple kicks. Now also with the spiral. Mersal trying to get in on the action. Trying to eliminate Kaiman possibly. Trying to be the strongest person on the block here. That was a very easy pickup from Mersal there. Also getting teamed up with the spiral. I don't know if Kaiman's going to be able to withstand this. 
Oh, and they're barely holding on. Dante getting a massive toss from Santita as... Oh, it's the GOAT. The GOAT. Truly the most impressive performance of last Rumble. A first ever Rumble. I'm pretty sure we can expect great things for them again. There clearly are many fans. And I know it too, look at them looking out to the crowd. With custom signs. Yeah, the GOAT. The GOAT. We have Yisan immediately doing a returnal. Oh, that was a massive kick onto poor Santita. And possibly, finally, the Spiral of Contempt being eliminated from the ring. Yes, they were finally out of the ring. Bamboo had to begin eliminating somebody. Santita tossing down Bamboo Kim for his troubles. Poor Otis on the ground immediately. It seems like they're already knocked out cold. Not the expectation we were waiting for. Marsal just choking out Santita and then one punch sending him flying into the air. Possibly now. Yes! Finally, Marceau has finally eliminated Kaiman. The janitor is no more. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Kim might be dead? I think Kim might be dead. He's not moving. Can someone check on him, please? Anybody? Like, nudge him a little. Anything? <laughs> that was a brutal, brutal attack from Yisan there. Otis. Just going in for more damage while picking him up, too. No restings allowed, that's for sure. Got our next contestant out of the way while Otis continues to smother down. Oh! We got the Indigo Elder. Now, I did just see that Dante eliminated Yisan there. But, we have our next contestant, and it is a color. It is an actual color. Unlike the other one. I don't even know what happened to the other one. I think he just got eliminated, and we all just forgot about it. By the way, we have the real Indigo Elder here today. He's hunted two whales, pointed it out, and he's looking for a third. Now, I think the only whale left is poor Santita here, so perhaps he's hunting down the Christmas spirit. Be a good contender, or maybe even Godus themselves. Oh, no, he's going right for Santita, immediately pinning them down, getting them into the dolphin. Oh, no, the seal! Everyone now just on the ground. Mersal, not even interested in getting involved in that. Santita, I'm sure, reeling from such an impressive pin. Got Kim there, sending him down to the ground. Santita finally breaking free of that pin after so long. Dante actually going in for poor Kim here. So our next contestant comes on in. Oh, here to save their master. We have Andu. I, uh, I, I think Marsal might have caused a bit more damage than we thought he did. Uh, oh dear. Well, I'm sure Andu will still have a pretty impressive performance, whether they have their cognitive functions all there or not. Dante and the Indigo Elder duking it out. Dante going in for his arm. Oh, and receiving a right hook just for his troubles. Otis now getting uh, stuck into a pin. So many people on the ground right now. Poor Otis still in a pin. Marsal giving Andu a couple more punches for their troubles. Indigo Elder now saving Andu for what he's down on the ropes. Not a lot of action going around, just a lot of people running around as their next contestant comes on in. Yes! We have Wishing Well Don Quixote here to provide a more serious performance than their last attempts. They got very close at the end, but didn't quite make it. Sadly, her and uh, the Red Gaze couldn't quite match up to both Cromer and Guido. What a shame. But now they've brought their A-game. They brought their ego. Surely with an ego, they'll be able to perform quite well. And they look a bit like a sushi roll. That's always nice. Get back in. We have Kim immediately getting tossed by Marceau. 
a lot of pins and a lot of DDTs. Dante immediately getting picked up. Don going after Otis, probably envious of the amount of stardom that Otis has received as of late. Marcel going to town on Santita. Indigo Elder taking a bit of a breather. Santita giving Marceau some punches in turn. Showing him a couple good presents for what a good boy he's been. Indigo Elder just kicking Dante for his trouble and walking off. Oh, now that is some momentum there for poor Santita. Indigo Elder now showing out. Just needed a bit of warming up. A bit of old age will do that. And what kind of move is that? Some kind of... Oh, well, Dante stopped it before he could get his move off. Clearly that would have been something terrible. Undo picking up Dante. Dante reversing it. Oh, showing Undo not to pick him up. Dante's been in here quite a while. I, like a long while. I think Dante's actually... Is Dante the new goat? That being said, we have Otis trying to eliminate Don. We have Bamboo Kim trying to eliminate the Indigo Elder here. Don breaking out. Possibly the Indigo Elder will do the same. Dante now going after Santita with a massive move. Don Quixote kicking Merceau. Merceau giving to <laughs> poor Don Quixote in return. It's a very, very busy ring at the moment. Lots of bodies going everywhere. Santita taking a massive swing onto the poor king there. Undo just going after the elder as opposed to saving their master from such injuries. Otis giving them some worthy troubles. Santita now just beating onto the elder as well. He's just fired up. Don Quixote. Oh, massive headbutt onto him. Now pinning him down to the ground. Otis trying to eliminate Dante. No, Dante once again breaking free from so many times that he's almost at the top rope there. That was a really nasty combo to poor Otis. Bunch of people on the ground. We have Dante giving it to Kim. The Elder possibly going after poor Don Quixote. Merceau. Oh, similar to taking in steps from Kaiman there with a follow-up after a somersault. Don Quixote breaking out. We got Santita possibly getting Andu here onto the ropes. We got Merceau showing... Oh no, and yes, Andu has been eliminated by Santita. Santita just running through the crowd now. Knocking everyone out of the way. Going after the Elder now. Don Quixote going, bringing down Santita. Otis bringing down Don, er, Don Quixote. Oh, and we have Kim knocking out Dante cold. Rousseau just picking up the Elder. Everyone's just going everywhere right now. Everyone's on the ground. Everyone's injured. Everyone's exhausted. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been quite some time since our last contestant came into the ring. Now with Andu being eliminated, we'll finally have some room to shake things up a bit. We have Don Quixote setting up something big against Otis. Don Quixote just tossing people left and right. Dante going in for Santita again, still trying to prove that he can perhaps pick up this massive hulk of meat. But I don't think it's going to happen this time like it didn't do all the others. Indigo Elder showing the moves to Don Quixote. Oh, and a massive suplex. Like I said, we have Kim here also doing the same to poor Otis. Kim knocking out the Elder. Santita trying to go in, get some more blood, but... Getting a bit distracted. Finally, our next contestant comes in. Oh, it's the shittiest abnormality of them all. The one I'm the least proud of. <laughs> yes. Yes, that one guy you fought once. In the railway. For all of those turns. All of those cycles. You fought him once. And he was probably rather easy. That being said, the wayward passenger is still an abnormality. I don't think he's as strong as his brethren, but I still think he'll give us a quite interesting performance for today. And we have Kim on the top ropes, possibly being eliminated by Merceau. It's key is getting both of their legs over those ropes. Something Dante once again is trying to do, but 
he keeps forgetting that he has to get both the legs up. Once again, getting return. Now Santita. Oh, giving him some karma back. Oh, we have the Indigo Elder actually pulling off his move. We're going to see what it amounts to. Poor Don Quixote at the mercy of it. And what is going the other way now? What, what is this going to lead to? What sort of weird machinations is he doing? And... He just confused himself. Is Santita actually showing us what a real move is? Just punching someone in the face. Dante, Dante got eliminated? What happened? Was it Otis? Did Otis eliminate Dante while we were all distracted by other people's stupid moves? It must have been. They must have took the opportunity to secretly eliminate their manager. Oh, and Kim eliminated Otis for their troubles. All of that hard work eliminating the goat Dante. The goat Otis has been eliminated. We already got Wayward Passenger on the ropes. Indigo Elder not understanding. Same thing with Don Quixote not understanding. You need to get both those legs up. Indigo Elder weakening the Wayward Passenger a little. Kim giving Merceau a bit of trouble. Santa has still been in this quite a long time. So has Kim. So has Merceau. There's so many people that have stuck around for such a long time in this rumble. Wayward Passenger giving Merceau a quick ass to munch on. That being said, we got our next contestant in and... Oh no. Wait a second. This late in the rumble? No! I don't think anyone can handle it. This is unfair! Look at all those buffs! It's June, the real boss of the Mirror Dungeons as of late, the real menace to everyone's run. It doesn't matter how many ego gifts you have, it doesn't matter if you're Blade Lineage team, he'll show you the rules. The rules are is that he wins and you lose. That's all it's ever been. I think we're going to see a lot of blood in the water once he gets into the ring today. This late? No, it's just not possible. It really isn't. I'm sorry to say, but I think we already see who wins. There he is. We'll see what he can get up to. Instantly going for Merceau. Whoa! Indigo Elder trying to get some action, but missing everybody. And Wait, Merceau and June are down? What did they do? I mean, June's getting up, so clearly he won out in the end. And... Indigo Elder! Oh no, he eliminated Santita! The Indigo Elder has succeeded in what he was aiming to eliminate. He eliminated the fleshy Christmas whale. Just in time for our next contestant to come in. Another massive contender! It's Ricardo! Ricardo's here. He's pointing out in the crowd. He know who he's going for. He's going for the bristliest one in the patch right now. It's gotta be Marceau. Actually, no. It's probably the Elder. Trying to get some comeback? He said he would come back again. They would fight again. This is clearly the place to do it. Got June already tossing Kim. Indigo Elder going after June. There's just so many heavy hitters here. So many giants. And Marceau. Kim giving Ricardo a good kick to the face. So many people on the ground. I think Indigo Elder was choking out June there for a moment, but June was somehow able to escape. Wayward Passenger getting up on the top ropes for a big ol' arm over on Kim. June, I think, was trying to do something to the Elder there, but lost his grip. Wayward Passenger being subject to Ricardo's menacing moves. Oh! And I think Marceau just severely injured June. Perhaps the real winner of this is... Just the power of an overturned e Oh, and Wayward Passenger eliminated Kim. Of all the guys that eliminated Kim, I did not think it would be Wayward Passenger. Merceau kicking June in the ground. Oh, and the power bomb as well. We got Smee coming in, probably as part of their contract with the middle. 
And we'll see what business her and Ricardo can get up to, but... I mean... I'm not quite sure. Shmi seems like the type that needs backup. And it is someone that's good on their own. But I'm sure they'll do a good performance. I mean, they're at the end, after all. One of the last... What is that? Four? They might just win this, for all we know. Oh, and saying that, we already have Wayward Passenger immediately giving Smee the business. Indigo Elder and Ricardo duking it out as we would expect. A massive move from Ricardo, tossing the Indigo Elder. Now just pinning him down to the ground. June possibly eliminating the Wayward Passenger here. And next contestant coming in. Yes, the real winner. The real champion. The strongest two-star in the game. Totally. The one that everybody loves. Sloshing Ishmael. Now I'm sure there's some of you out there that re really, really hope that this ID does well with the rest of this rumble. But I'm also sure there's some of you out there that really, really hope Ishmael and this ID eat dirt. And to those of you, I say... Nah, <laughs> too fucking bad. I like Sloshing Ishmael. I think they're goofy. And yes, I do run all of the goofy egos and all the goofy IDs, whether they're meta or not. I will take my Shrimp Honglu, my Shrimp Ryoshu, my Soup Sinclair, all of them. They're all used. Every single one of them has a purpose, and the purpose is my enjoyment. After that little tangent, we got Shmi here, showing June the business. Already in with our next contestant, now that we've had some eliminations. Ah, yes. I mean, are we surprised that they're near the end of the rumble? Are we really that surprised? After all, La correlates with skill. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if every other wrestler just trips over their shoelaces immediately over the ropes. I'm sure that's what we're going to expect from now on. I mean, look at him. He's confident. Real confident. Wayward Passenger here, giving Indigo Elder... Oh, no, Indigo Elder reversing it. Shmi possibly doing something with Merceau here. Ishii taking the Indigo Elder into the air and slamming them down. Ting Tang Hong Lu just sort of scratching June's back. Got Smee there, possibly eliminating Merceau. A, a massive tremorish hit onto the poor Indigo Elder from Ishmael there, showing how good of a supposed tremor ID I guess they are. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, I got something in my mouth there. We got Ricardo giving the works onto Smee. Ishmael giving Ting Tang Hong Lu the business. And we still have Merceau here. Some of these people have been here forever. Like, truly. They've been here since, like, half of the match. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. No, nope, Merceau immediately getting back in. Indigo Elder getting... No! We thought he'd get caught on Hong Lu, but no, he just kind of swerved around him and just fell right over the edge. I guess at this point, he's already accomplished what he set out to do. Oh, and Merceau can be caught eliminated by June! It doesn't matter how strong that ego is, you still can't beat those endgame buffs. It's me now at the subject of it. Wayward Passenger eliminated as well. Everybody's getting eliminated suddenly. Got Ricardo in the corner. June and Ishmael now duking it out. Ishmael somehow reversing, possibly. No! Getting a big old face to the floor there. Hong Lu trying to perhaps save Ishii. Ishii now teaming up with Hong Lu. No! Hong Lu and Ishii just... Kind of mixing themselves up quite a fair bit there. Probably a bit annoyed at each other. Hong Lu stretching Ishii out. Bit of a team thing to do. Smee and Ricardo teaming up against June. And we got June here. Have Ricardo in a headlock. Ting Tang Hong Lu also stretching out Smee. Oh, June possibly going for Ricardo here. June has eliminated Ricardo as well. He's eliminated so many giants! That being said, now that there's room, we can get the final contestants of our rumble finally here. We'll see who they actually are. Ah, yes. 
Finally, the little bastard that was holding me at Harpoon Point earlier. The Starbuck. Yes, everyone's favorite. Look at him, he's waving to the crowd. He's got his attack orders from Ahab. He's here to steal the show. Quite literally. Yeah, he seems pretty happy with himself, but you know what? I hope he fucking rots. Now, I don't think he's going to really do much, but at the very least, he's got a lot of energy. He's the only contestant that is coming into this completely unscathed as a first of Final Five. We've got Smee, June, Ting Tang Hong Lu, Sloshing Ishmael, and Starbuck. These are our last people, and and Smee's gone. We have our last four people. Uh, now, that being said, we still have June, which is the absolute monster that is going to be the real menace of this ring. Ting Tang Hong Lu, possibly going to get some last minute luck in here, but Starbucks showing them what's, what's what. Starbuck, possibly going in for something big and uh, kind of just whiffing it. Yeah, being an overall little goof. It's probably for the best. June, actually Starbuck just trying to get some attention, but I don't think it's a good idea to anger June this much. Ting Tang Hong Lu seeing an opening going in for Starbuck. Ishi was trying to go for June there, but got a quick punch to the face for their troubles. Ting Tang Hong Lu just completely going after Starbuck now. Real good thing, just wailing on his back. Ishi trying to set something up, no accidentally getting. I mean, would it be a good idea to eliminate this in this early? You should probably go after June instead, at least team up with your uh, fellow ID. It, nope. And off he goes. Ting Ting Hong Lu has been eliminated. Ishii wants to do this personally. Perhaps she'll eliminate Starbuck on their own or June? I think there's more personal beef with Starbuck. Starbuck just sitting back, letting it happen, actually. June possibly here getting eliminated. Nope. Starbuck still debating about it. Oh, and last second tried to get in a kick, but amazingly countered by Ishii there. And he did it again. If she couldn't do the double, oh, that's, you know, two out of three. Two out of three for Ishii. That was really impressive. Ishii now, knocking down Starbuck. Honestly, I really don't want Starbuck to win this one, so let's hope that does not happen. Starbuck now on the ground. Ishii just wailing on him constantly. Starbuck hasn't had it in his favor for quite some time. Ishii now bringing him to the ropes. Probably just here to finish him off, hopefully. And, yes! Yes! He's been eliminated! Ishii has saved the day! Ishii is the winner of this rumble! They have done an amazing job! time.